for loop container. This video is about uh, one of the other kind of containers, which is for loop container in series of uh, SSIS 2012 integration services tutorial videos container section. I'm Razarat, SQL Server author, uh, trainer, and MVP. Uh, for loop container provides a simple structure for looping through. Uh, um, uh, numbers or through dates or through uh, uh, numerical uh, expressions uh, and it uh, actually uh, works uh, such a simple uh, for structure in programming language for example in a programming language you have uh, initial expression in for loop container we have also init expression we have a uh, evaluation expression, for example, i is lower than or equal than 20. For example, we have that evaluation expression in for loop container as well. And an assign expression, which means the iteration, how iteration looks like. This means that iteration will be uh, plus one in each iteration. The, and we have a sign expression in for loop container. So in for loop container, we have three main parts init expression, eval expression, and assign expression. And uh, these expressions use a size expression, so it can be any expressions uh, based on variables or without variables, and uh, with uh, parameters, with any kind of uh, functions in the expression. For example, in this video, I uh, use a loop structure to loop through numbers uh, from 2 to a specified number. We want to find all dividers of uh, that specific number uh, from the number 2. For example, for 6, all dividers will be 2, 3, and 6 as well. So I just uh, bring 2 and 3. So I do not pick 1 or uh, the number itself. So I do not pick the 1 or 6. So it will be only 2 and 3. And then I will create a string, a comma delimited string with all dividers. This will help us in different scenarios. For example, in creating uh, select statements, for example, I use this sample for creating a bending uh, on time dimension for the R column. Uh, for the R column, you know that we have a uh, um, 24 hour uh, and numbers so I want to create a banding for all dividers of 24 which means 2, 3, uh, 4, 6, 8, uh, 12 so for creating this kind of uh, structure I uh, need to um, uh, use a big SQL uh, statement to create all bandings but I can use a for loop structure uh, uh, SSI's for loop structure to create that uh, select a statement dynamically and then run and uh, execute this. So I start from a table structure here. You can see that we have a dim time here. This dim time contains some columns, for example, hour, time, key, hour, 24 hour, that um, a minute, uh, seconds, this kind of information. I'm trying to build a Banding sample here, so I just select time key and hour, hour 24 from the time. So as you can see, we have time key and hour 24, and we want to create a banding for, for example, each 12 hours. So I say hour 24 divided by 12 I want to use this our band underscore 12 code when I execute this you can see that all hours lower than 11 and lower than 11 are uh, band code 0 and after 12 it will be band code 1 this means that I created a banding and this is the banding code. Uh, for the code, it's quite simple. Now I want to create a description for this. For example, if you want to use this in uh, analysis services, you might require a text description for this. That text description, for example, can be the starting time of the banding and ending time. Uh, for example, for 12 hours, starting time will be zero. 
and uh, the and end time is, is uh, 11 59 59 59 minutes and 59 seconds uh, so I want to create this string here so first I create the first part of a string so I use our 24 divided by 12 and I want to convert this number to varchar two characters as our band 12 description as you can see it's just same number just converted now I add a zero here because it might be sometimes it might be one digit sometimes it might be two digit so it's always two digit right now but i'm uh, but if this be uh, this part be two digit and this be one digit this will make it three so i use write function to always get the right two digit part of it so it's always returns two digit zero zero and zero one now i want to add the minute and second to this so as you can see it's starting hour for each band but it's uh, it's not actually correct because when I go to second band it should start from 12 not from 1 so I should put a multiply 12 here and as a result I have a starting hour correctly. Now I want to put the uh, ending time of it. I use same structure for the ending. I remove the extra character here and here before multiplying this I want to add a number here sorry before multiplying I want to add a number here and I want to get the last minute of last second which will be 59 59 so as a result this will be like this but this is not again correct because we need to uh, minus 1 from this value so I use another minus one here to get the latest r so now you can see that this uh, actually creates the banding as we require and the banding is right and now i want to do this for all uh, dividers of number 24 because we have 24 hours and we do not want to just have a banding for number 12. We want to have this for 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, and 12. So what I want to do is to create this structure dynamically and load the result into a table. So I put into them time band. So we want to load this into a table. So I want to create this uh, SQL structure dynamically. So I create a SSIS package this is an empty SSIS package I create a variable for number for example we set the default value of this to 24 and I create a variable named divider starting from 2 and I create another variable for SQL command of string type so what I want to do is to create that SQL command. Before uh, creating that SQL command, part of the SQL command is static. For example, this part of SQL command is always static. So I copy this part. I use an expression task. Expression task is uh, very good uh, for making package dynamics. So I say SQL command is equal to this part. I remove the comma here because the comma will be added dynamically. 
So this is just the uh, static part of select. I named this to generate select clause. Then I want to use a for loop container to loop through those numbers. Before setting up the loop structure, I'm putting the ending part of expression with another expression task. I name this as generate from clause. Because as you can see here, in this expression, the from clause, this part is also static. So I copy that part and I say that SQL command is equal to SQL command plus this part. So here we add the from clause as well. So what I need to do here is that I want to set the for loop container. I named this for loop container as our band loop. The initial expression here is the most important part. Initial expression can be uh, any kind of expression. I say divider is equal to two. This means the initial expression. I want to check is divider equal to number. This means that loops, uh, if the divider is, equal, uh, is uh, lower than number, if it's equal of, or if it is uh, greater than that, then it will quiet the loop. And assign expression is divider is equal to divider plus one. So this is all setting that we need to do in the for loop. As you can see, for loop is uh, quite simple. Just you need to be uh, familiar with SSI expressions. Okay. After setting this, I need to make my uh, columns. So I use an expression task again. I name this as generate columns. So here I want to say the SQL command should be equal to SQL command plus those columns. But I want to do this uh, only for uh, integer dividers. For example, number 5 is not an integer divider for uh, number 24. So how, you, how I can find that is that an integer divider or not, I can uh, put a conditional expression here. As you can see, conditional expression is like this. I put my Boolean expression here. My Boolean expression is that number, and I want to get the modulo so number modulo divider, is it equal to zero? This means that is this uh, variable, is this divider is an integer divider? If it is, then I want to put the SQL command plus the expression that I will put here. Otherwise, I just want to put SQL command not anything else. This means that I just skip that uh, iteration. So what I put here is based on this part. I want to uh, I want to replace all 12s here. So I use a replace. I say replace all 12s with double quote plus I want to convert this number because it's coming as a number from uh, SSIS, so I use dt underscore wstr, comma five, number of characters, for example, I assume that it's five, at sign, user, double column, divider. 
plus double column. This will be replaced by any instance of 12 here and this makes uh, this expression a valid expression for SSI. So I replace all of this and now I can take this part from the comma to this part. So this is the part of uh, expression that will be created dynamically. So I put that here and when I evaluate uh, it's actually evaluating based on the value of divider right now. So the divider value is 2 so this as you can see it's creating the R band 2 code and R band 2 description. Uh, when I run this, this will be executed for each R band uh, divider, which is an integer divider. So this uh, is part of creating the uh, SQL command. After this, I, sh I want to run that SQL command. So I use an execute SQL task. I put that execute SQL task here. I, na I name this as create and fill uh, them time band. And after this, I want to create a connection to my sample database. And I use a variable, which is my SQL command. So I just run this variable. Before running that variable, th this table uh, might be exist previously. So I use an if exist command. Uh, in this command I check if that uh, time band uh, exists or not. If it is exist, just drop it. I just copy this and I run that if not exist at the first step of package. So this says drop table if exist. I use same connection and direct input. So this is the whole scenario. So before executing this, you can see that there is no dim time band here when I execute this. We can see that how the loop structure goes. The loop structure was uh, very fast because it's just f uh, was few number of records. Now I can go here and refresh. You can see that we have a dim time band. And if I select star from dim time band, you can see that the band code for all through divider, all integer dividers, like 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, and 12 created. And for example, you can see that results are quite right. For example, R19 is in the you know, R band 2 between 18 and 20, and 3 between 18 and 21, and 4 between 16 and 20, and uh, 6 between uh, 18 and 24 and etc. So this uh, uh, simple uh, for loop structure with just few expressions and uh, with help of expression task and some expressions helped us to create a very useful uh, kind of uh, banding structure for time dimension. You can use this for banding uh, minutes and uh, seconds as well with adding uh, two other for loop uh, uh, structure after the hour. So in summary for loop is quite very good simple loop structure. It's very look like programming language for structure and expressions and variables uh, are here for help to empower loop. You can use those in evaluation, initialization and assign expressions. Thanks.